special honor uh, today to welcome John C. Farkin and Gaia Fellini, uh, authors of this amazing book, Fuck It, called Fuck It Therapy. There's Fuck It as well, um, and quite a few thing, different things you're doing. But today we're just going to focus on a few questions. Um, first of all, living fully. What does living fully mean to you? <coughs> You got to you got to try and stay excited, guy. This is the fifteenth. <laughs> this is the fifteenth take, time. actually, isn't it? <laughs> yes. So for the fifteenth time, what does living fully Me. mean? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, clearly, it's a pretty big question. I'm going to yeah, yeah. try to answer briefly to a to a huge life question, uh, and this is my view on mm. my take on that and the uh, fuck it take on that. Uh, my sense is to live fully, and through my work, what I see in people is. Um, to really be able to to see and not follow what are the coping mechanisms and the learned behaviors uh, and the difference between those and what's really coming from you want to call it through you but something that's more real mm -hmm. and usually that bit is what makes us our heart sing and make us happy mm -hmm. and the stuff that we learned in order to survive in order to fit in in order to be approved of, and none of that is negative. We had to do it at some stage in our lives to survive. But uh, although at some stage in our life that may have served us, mm -hmm. uh, often later on it really is against us. But because it's learned, we keep repeating that. So a lot of the work I do around fuck it is how to identify and say fuck it to learn mm -hmm. to repetitive patterns so that something else can come up and it's really like lifting a lid mm. uh, because the other stuff is so much more real and alive the moment you lift the lid the the energy of the stuff that is more alive starts coming up mm. sometimes it's scary because we spend years and years and years putting it down mm. and we kind of believed that uh, we're going to be loved and approved because of the other stuff which in fact is the thing that makes us not very happy so there are and so the outcome, it's, it's varied because for some people may be doing a lot less than what they do and for some people lives may be doing a lot more than what they do depending on what they learned. Mm -hmm. So the, you know, the answer is not uh, boxed, yeah. <laughs> but it's really about um, starting to notice and get in touch with what it is that we've been repeating in order to fit in and what's actually our true life mm -hmm. force. So it would be in a way healing or connecting to the true nature and, yes, and differentiating because this life force is so huge the moment mm. we because we you know we're so great at putting the lid and it's mostly unconscious so the moment we come start coming in touch with having a lid and having a life force beneath then the this other thing comes up mm -hmm. and then we need to sit with the fear of that fucking mm. up our <laughs> image mm -hmm. <laughs> and yes. our plants yeah yeah <laughs> and and life sometimes going in a different direction absolutely yeah. and then keep you know keep staying with it till the fear starts dissolving mm -hmm. and we start realizing that we can be m more out there more in here less out there mm -hmm. more slow more fast more quiet less quiet uh, depending on each person so it's a very individual mm -hmm. journey uh, but taking this lid off is, is quite a thing Taking the lid off and get, getting back to that. Yes, work yes, and allowing yeah. that to shine again. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, we've been doing that for 30, 40, 50 years. Yeah. So it does require some connection, some help, and some courage. Yeah. It's definitely a journey. Yeah. It's definitely a journey, yeah. yes. And it's an amazing journey. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, so, living fully, healing, getting back to our true nature, how does it connect to bucket philosophy? or? In other words, how would you maybe sum up fuck it philosophy? Uh, fuck it is um, <coughs> not taking things too seriously. Mm. I say in the most serious way <laughs> possible I can. Uh, it's realising that most of the things that we worry about don't matter so much. And just kind of giving less of a shit. Mm -hmm. That's fuck it. It's it's the moment that I want to do this. Tom Cruise. You ever see the, the video of Tom Cruise on Oprah Winfrey <laughs> when he's in love? There is a vague yeah. image. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. He, he jumps on the. He's not bouncing on the sofa. <laughs> so this that's, is the that's fucking fuck it. Yeah. A very vivid <laughs> illustration. Of fuck it. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> fuck it is what it, it's what it says yeah. on the tin, really. Yeah. And that's it's the the route to freedom when we yeah. when we care less about all the things that weigh us down and stop us doing mm. what we want to do to live fully mm -hmm. that's fuck it yeah yeah thank you so much um 
there's another an answer, uh, sorry, another question um, that came in my head. Saying fuck it on the one hand, or the way we might interpret it, and running a business, or running a successful business, um, does it contradict in any way? Yeah, you can't run a successful business if you believe in fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we came here on bicycles, <laughs> why my clothes need mending, our children are struggling to eat. <laughs> What's your next question? <laughs> <laughs> so care, caring less can, can help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. I mean, the, the, thing, yeah. the thing about fuck it is it, mm. in Taoism, there's yin and there's yang. There's, mm. there's um, doing less mm. and caring less and resting more. Mm. And there's yang, which is going out. This is lo that's, mm. that's living fully. Yeah. It's to recognize yeah. that there's times when you need to rest and do less and there's times when you need to do more and get out there. Mm. And with a business, if we're fully authentic, doing stuff from ourselves and we love it and we go out there and we express this joy of the thing mm. to people we are going to do well mm -hmm. so if you say fuck I'm going to do it I'm going to do what I want to do I'm going to do it in a brilliant way and it's going to help people and serve people and usually uh, depending on the local climate uh, political business climate mm -hmm. you can't help but do well mm -hmm. so I would say that fuck it is a essential mm -hmm. to running to a run successful a business. business. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. So it's that joy and it's that life force that we want to. Yeah. You see, okay. the best business people, have a nat they naturally mm -hmm. have a fucking mm -hmm. attitude. Yeah. So they take risks when they need to and they or, they, or they walk away from a deal that doesn't feel right. Yeah. Yeah. They're not constrained by the, what they've been taught, the patterns that, that are there already. They're, they're, they're normally mavericks, the very best business people. Yeah. It really comes quite natural that once you are in touch, once you're moving from that joint life force, it, things don't matter that much anymore. Yeah. You don't even need to think about it. It's like I had a phrase someone in a session said recently, I matter, it doesn't matter. Mm. Uh, but not, you know, not in a selfish way, it's just really yeah. getting in touch with force and joy of living. And then it's like you know your flow. And so all the bits, <laughs> you can judge easily what's important and what's not. It just becomes mm. your natural way of living. In a way, honoring that life force as well, yeah, yeah. giving it space. Absolutely, yeah. brilliant. Uh, thanks so much, Maybe if just for for a final for final thoughts, something, a message. If you had to, I think there were quite a few already. Um, but if there was a final message <laughs> for there our is audience, a, the final message. What the very very final <laughs> message? <laughs> if this was, this was the before final moment <laughs> before nuclear apocalypse, <laughs> I'd say fuck it. <laughs> just go with it. Yeah, okay. And that's that's the message that we try to live by, which is to relax and let go more, and follow whatever the natural invitation is. Fuck it and, and uh, relax and, and do it, or don't do it, depending on the situation. <laughs> <laughs> All very relative. Thank you both. Thank you, John. Thank you, Gaia. Thank you, everyone Thank you. at home. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thank you, and uh, stay tuned for more amazing things, and you can find out more about by, by just googling bucket therapy bucket retreats in Italy I highly recommend it and um, yeah stay stay positive stay in there that full full life and that joy